or, or component development, and that went to the assist centre. So uh, welcome up, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. So um, certainly honored to win this award. Thank you to the uh, the award uh, committee, to the judges, to ID TechX, uh, to Uragu, and and others. Thanks to all of you in the crowd that are still here for the last presentation of the <laughs> evening. I promise I'll try and make it make it brief. Um, I, I represent the Assist Center, and I'm uh, accepting this award on behalf of Dr. Yong Zhu from North Carolina State University. So I'm not the person who has done the really difficult uh, work that's, that's here. I just, uh, I'm fortunate enough to be up on, on stage. Uh, Young was unable to attend this evening. But um, the Assist Center is headquartered at North Carolina State University and is a multi-university effort working on self-powered systems. So our focus is to develop uh, ultra low power sensors and radios and microprocessors and all the things that can operate at such a low power level that you can use things like the human body as a power supply to drive the electronics. So if you look at health monitoring, for example, uh, and, and the, the kinds of work that, uh, that Sensoria is doing is really, really difficult, right? So they, they were an, uh, certainly a worthy recipient of the award that they just received. We're, we're trying to take from the university perspective and, and step that up to the next level where you don't just get maybe a heart rate, but you could get an entire electrocardiogram signal and get that through a wearable device that's running off of your body heat or off of your body motion. And so in the center, this particular uh, technology that we were awarded for this evening was a silver nanowire uh, dry electrode. So I don't know how many people in the audience have ever had your electrocardiogram measured uh, at a doctor's office or a clinic or a hospital, but the typical procedure is they have these electrodes that have adhesive that stick to the body and they're kind of painful when they're removed, and there's an electrolytic gel or some kind of a material that helps to get really good electrical contact to the body. And even with um, a, a strong adhesive holding it pl in place and this gel, you still have to sit really, really still or you get noise and motion artifacts into the data. Uh, and, and that is not so practical for maybe a, a, a cardiac patient that needs constant monitoring. And so within our center, we look at, are there ways that we can improve this experience and take it not even at just the hospital level, but let's take it out into your regular life. What if you had a system that because it ran off your body heat, you didn't have to recharge a battery, you could just put on your shirt. And because you had a dry electrode that was conformal and stretchable, not just bendable, but stretchable with the same kind of modulus of elasticity as the body itself, when your body moves and twists and, and bends, this material would, would mimic that exactly. And therefore you could get a really clean electrocardiogram signal that does not have these motion artifacts and also doesn't have the challenges of you have to peel this adhesive off at the end of the day and, and so on and so forth. So Yongju has developed a, uh, a material and you can see uh, some pictures here. The, uh, the red signals there are looking at a typical silver silver chloride um, adhesive attached and, and gel enabled electrode compared to the black signal which is this silver nanowire electrode. Um, we've also used aside from electrocardiogram We've used these devices for electromyogram and gotten very, very similar results uh, out of this, um, which is pretty, pretty exciting and, and uh, we're really, really happy about. Um, what's really cool about this particular material formulation is it's incredibly versatile and flexible. And so we've used it simply as a conductor, a stretchable conductor. We've used it uh, as antennas. And if you think about an antenna, when you stretch an antenna like this, the center frequency of that antenna can shift. And so by reading the result from that antenna, you can create a completely battery-free strain sensor by looking at, at RF frequency changes. Uh, we've made capacitive touch. You can uh, do capacitive type devices with this. We're doing some experiments now where we're looking at body hydration and using these devices to look at the dielectric constant of the body and how it changes as you go from a state of hydration to dehydration. Um, so lots and lots of applications. Uh, we, ha we have a booth here. We've got some of our graduate students uh, presenting the work. We'd be happy uh, to talk with, with any of you. But again, I'll thank you for staying all the way to the end. I won't take any more of your time.
but once again, thank you to ID TechX and a fantastic event. Thank you. 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 Thank you.